Thursday. It's the 12th of September. I'm Monita Rajpal. This is CNN News Center, live from Hong Kong. Our top stories today. This is a test of just how serious Russia and Syria are. With those words, the U.S. Secretary of State landed in Geneva. It's all part of Washington's push for a diplomatic solution to the crisis in Syria. John Kerry just touched down a little while ago, over an hour ago. Uh, he'll be meeting with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov to work out a blueprint on how and when Syria would hand over its stockpile of chemical weapons. CNN's Jim Shooter was traveling on the plane with Kerry. He joins us now live uh, from Geneva. And Jim, the Secretary of State said we can test whether there is a credible and authentic way to move forward. What is he looking for out of these meetings? Well, Manita, they're not expecting to come out with a written agreement here, but they want... Jim, thank you very much for that. Jim Shooter there reporting to us live from uh, Geneva. Well, let's get you more on that op-ed that we were talking about that was written by the Russian president, Vladimir Putin. It was in the New York Times, and he called for peaceful dialogue. He said, uh, the law is still the law, and we must follow it whether we like it or not. Under current international law, response to President Obama's statement Tuesday, he wrote, I would rather disagree with a case he made on American exceptionalism, stating that the United States policy is, quote, in the United States, there has been some seriously mixed reactions. We're joined by Brianna Keeler, who's at the White House for us. And, uh, uh, Brianna, how is that comment about American exceptionalism playing out there where you are? Well, for some lawmakers, Manita, it's actually stomach turning. Brianna, thank you very much. Brianna Keeler, they're live for us from the White House. Well, the, France, the French are also weighing in on this. France's Foreign Minister Laurent Fabius has just said that Bashar al-Assad's government was behind the August 21 chemical attacks, disputing Mr. Putin's claim that the rebels were responsible. The reality is quite clear. A chemical mass... Meanwhile, a U.S. official has told CNN that CIA-funded weapons have started to reach Syrian rebels in the past two weeks, but the Syrian National Coalition and the Free Syrian Army say they haven't seen any yet. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Still ahead, a tropical storm in the Pacific is strengthening and heading towards, straight toward East Asia. We'll bring you more details from the Weather Center. Stay with us. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. I'm Monita Rajpal. Another tropical cyclone is developing in the Western Pacific. Meteorologist Karen McGinnis is at the World Weather Center tracking that for us. Hi, Karen. Hi, Monita. And we are watching this system, and it looks uh, right now fairly impressive. Has a high probability yeah. of. Karen, thank you very much for that. Well, satellite images of North Korea are raising concerns. It's restarting a dormant nuclear reactor. Here's the photo U.S. researchers say shows signs of new activity. They point to two columns of steam rising from a building believed to house uh, steam turbines and electric generators. We want to bring in John Dillery, a senior fellow at the Asia Society Center on U.S.-China relations. He joins us now from South Korea. John, thank you very much for being with us. What would... What should we make of these images? Well, uh, you know, I mean, with North Korea where there's steam... Some of the other stories we're following for you here at CNN News Center. In the Philippines, a standoff between government troops and rebels has entered its fourth day. Soldiers have surrounded rebels who are uh, holding around 180 hostages on the island of Mindanao. The rebels from the Moro National Liberation Front are fighting for an independent state. In Colombia's Bogota airport, police have arrested a Canadian woman with what appeared to be a pregnant belly that was actually full of cocaine. They say she was trying to smuggle two kilograms of the drug in her fake latex bump. Phone hacking scandal is back to haunt another tabloid uh, British newspaper. This time, the Sunday Mirror has found itself at the center of a police investigation. Its parent company, Trinity Mirror, says police are looking into whether Mirror Group newspapers is criminally liable for suspected phone hacking by former employees. Scientists say they may have moved a step closer to an HIV vaccine. They've successfully immunized monkeys against the simian version of the virus. The research was published in the journal Nature. It showed half the monkeys treated tested clear 
of the virus, but uh, they are still far away from testing on humans. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. He has spent the past seven years juggling life as a prince and a search and rescue helicopter pilot. More recently, he's become a husband and a father. In the past hour, Britain's Prince William has announced new plans for his future. Our royal correspondent, Max Foster, is outside Buckingham Palace with the details. Max? Yeah, it was interesting because we knew an announcement would be coming at some point about what he was going to... All gonna... right, Max, thank you very much for that. Our royal correspondent, Max Foster, there live for us from Buckingham Palace. The race for a New York mayor is still up in the air. The city's public advocate, Bill de Blasio, appears likely to be the candidate for the Democrats. And that means the former U.S. Congressman Anthony Weiner would be out of the race. Now, you may remember him from his infamous sexting scandal. But as uh, Jeannie Most tells us, it was a bizarre campaign for Weiner right from the start. It's not hard to put your finger on why the finger would be... You are watching CNN News Center. I'm Juanita Rajpal, live at CNN Hong Kong. Thank you for joining us. I'll update you the news headlines in just a few minutes.